So now let us have a look at the next modeling technique that is dimensional modeling. Let us try to understand this with an example. So assume that you are at the Bangalore airport and flying off to London. So what is the procedure that is followed is once you enter the airport, you will have to have a boarding pass. Now this boarding pass is going to be viewed in different perspectives by different people. Our data here is the boarding pass. So this data is going to be viewed differently by different people. So the person at the check-in counter needs a boarding pass to book your check-in bags. The immigration personnel is going to look at the boarding pass to ascertain the source and the destination of our travel. The security personnel is going to look at a boarding pass for security reasons so that he understands that we have, we have booked the tickets, we have paid and we are an eligible traveler. And the aircraft queue is going to look at the boarding pass to onboard us onto the flight and help us to assign our seat. So this boarding pass is our data. Here we see that different people are looking at this data in different ways. So this is called as a dimensional modeling. Dimens the definition goes as it is a logical design technique for structuring data so that it is intuitive to business users and delivers fast query performances. So what we understand is dimensional data is again the organization of data which is basically going to help the business users to deliver fast querying performances. So here dimensional modeling divides the database into two parts. The first one is measurement and second is context. What is measurement? Measurements are captured by the various business processes. So measurements are nothing but the facts. Facts are called as measurements. The second one is context. Contexts are intuitively divided into independent logical clumps called as dimensions. So how do you understand this? Measurements are facts. Like for example, the number of tickets booked or the amount paid. So that gives us a definite figure. So that is called as a fact. So when you talk about a dimension or context, it means that it is going to have the details like customer name, the customer details, the what, what time of booking, where we are going to travel, a source, our destination, etc. So dimensions describe who, what, when, where, and how. So the next term that we have is fact table, which we will take up in the next video.